And got him. Dead. Once again, top right corner tells you a lot of things. It tells you where you can basically get a one hit knockout on someone. So what's up with the deal with him not killing them? He just knocks them Well, you can. You can kill them, like, with an actual gun. But the way it goes with mission and um, the impossible missions force is they try to have as little casualties as possible. Because casualties are what spark wars. And their main goal is to not spark a war. They want to get the information. They want to fix whatever needs getting fixed. And go on from there. Hey, bro, go in there and get me a different controller. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need a different one. We're just gonna switch it out really quick. Any one of the two black ones. Go easy. Uh, that one. Yeah, I don't think I've tried that one yet. Let's go ahead and do that guy. She's coming in. Good. Give her a Don't worry. We still. All right, switch it out. We'll do. I'm riding the security. Took out your microphone. Okay. So you can get a look ahead. Done. There we go. Neutralized. Yeah, I can do. No worries. Okay, that feels a lot better. All right, so now I gotta find my gear, quote unquote. Um, we already got this gear right here. If you um, pressing pressing the directional pad will let you go through your inventory. Then hitting B uses whatever it is. We've in every single mission, you're able to hack the cameras to kind see what's coming up ahead of time. They don't really help you that much. Um, there are certain locked doors that you're gonna have to hack. You all automatically have the hacking tool. You just literally have to press Y to be able to um, take care of things in front of you. You can see on the map, you can see where the camera is capable of seeing you. And the way to take them out is with an EWG. Just aim at it, fire it, and it's going to turn green, meaning that if it sees you, it's not going to set off the alarms. Now, the cameras will not set off the alarms immediately. Don't they give you a couple seconds? Yes, they give you a couple seconds to hide yourself really quick. We now have the sonic imager that allows us to look through doors. It's kind of pointless in the beginning, but in later missions, it can be the difference between you winning and you dying like a dumbass. So, I'm going to ask this because I guess this is kind of what I had in mind. Uh, how steep is the difficulty curve? Is there a point where it gets ridiculous? There's a point where it gets pretty ridiculous. And what about there's how a total... easy it is to play? Like, does it get to a point, like you said, where it's the uh, spike, I guess, in the learning curve? Yes. There's like a total of four missions. Mission three. If you haven't, I, I don't want to say mastered, but if you haven't even come close to mastering the controls at that point, you might as well give up because it gets ludicrously hard. You go against automatic turns where you have to perfectly stealth your way around it. There's points where you have to kind of know ahead of time like what you're going to be doing. There's a point where, like I said, there's going to be automatic turns trying to shoot you down. You have to perfectly hide behind the barriers that it's shooting at and trust that the minute the barrier is gone, it's going to stop shooting at you. If you don't, you're screwed. So, this is the first point here where we got laser tripwires we got to be, care be careful of. This here is an alarm where um, if you get spotted and the alarm goes off, you go up to here, you better hope no one's around you. You can hack it to turn off the alarm and you're still good to go. I'm in the academy court. What about, uh, let's say, Excellent. if you're playing the game, the is it ahead. is there a lot of just points where it's just trial and error? Yeah, there are a number of... The biggest one is a turret one that happens in the second level where it is major trial and error. But again, it's nothing too terrible. I'm glad we switched controllers. This one feels really good. Checkpoints? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, there good. are checkpoints. That's, that makes if there was no good. checkpoints, the game would be completely unplayable. No more, As you can see with the EWG, you have three things here. Okay, You have a top one that works when you hover in front of a camera that's not yours. It means the minute you shoot, it's going to take it out. There's a human one you can see on the bottom. Let me show what that does really quick. I just got to find a human test. If there's one in sight, I thought there would be, but there does not look like it. Okay, it basically, and I don't know how this works, but when you shoot them with it, it allows you to see what they see on the map. So you know where they are at all times. And it also can shoot, I'm going to test it right here, a noise emitter. It can, so basically if a guard's right in your way and you want them to move, shoot that and they'll go right to it every time. So it's like, it, of course, it's a distractor tool then. Yes. To distract, it, it does everything. It's your 
favorite, your, you know, your favorite weapon, quote unquote, of the game. And now we got ourselves a grapple hook that can only be used on the pipes here. And you can obviously take aerial takedowns like this. <laughs> that one gets me. Just the way he just flops. Just, uh. All right, here we go. Advanced communications equipment. We gotta take pictures of these. That's because they're not on the schematics. They must have just built them. So now we gotta take pictures of them to send it to headquarters. Stations of some kind. Snap a couple of photos. We'll send them back to the boys at HQ. Okay, now here's the thing. You're technically supposed to go back for that one. You don't have to. Okay, where is it? Uh, we got a camera somewhere. Here we go, binoculars. The binoculars also work as a camera. It can help you see what's going on ahead, and you cannot, like, night vision these ones. I don't know why. You can zoom in, get just a perfect area, and snappy snap. Bingo. Nice work, Ethan. Okay, now where's that one guard? Because I need to be able to see what he can see in order not to screw myself. There you go, checkpoint reached. There he is. Okay. So he's standing still, body form, there we go. Enlarge the map, you can see what he sees right down in the right corner of the map. You can see where he's moving at all times and it never goes away either. That's nice that they actually keep that. Yeah, it, it, it really is a lifesaver. But you can actually get a shot of the communications deal from all the way back here. I just have to find it. I'm gonna take out the guard first. <laughs> Just so you're not like moving up. And I've done that before. I have literally done that before. You're like trying to look. take a picture. The guard's like, what, what the hell are you doing? Yeah, that's literally like point for point how it goes. Okay, now he's going to walk forward. I think. Yeah, he does. I don't think he turns around. Oh. Nope. Bad, bad, bad! Luckily, it's really easy to take him out. Dude, you... <laughs> I, okay, I'll be honest, folks. Once again, this is just more about recording curse. I have never once played this game and never been caught until just there. That's the first time I've ever been caught on the first mission. Bro, it's like speedrunning curses. Like, shit that never happens until you're like... Well, I want them to see it, and then... Seriously, where is it? I should have taken the picture of it by now. <sighs> Best first part of a playthrough? Yeah, and I know. Actually, no. I get caught for the first time ever. This won't I... be the first part, though. It'll be like part two. That is true. <laughs> unless you, like... Unless you do that stupid crap, like... Okay, the long no players, there. dude. Oh. I never do long plays. Dude, because who... Uh, what? Who has that kind of time? Well, not just that, but it's like... When you look at the demo or the return, like when you're... Uh, oh, there we go. I think that's it. Looking good, there we when go. You, when you, like, when people get Looking in there and they watch it... They're... The I don't know how they're, they're actually revenue. gonna watch the whole thing. Yeah, I don't know. Excellent. Where and when. That actually took sure a lot longer than it should have. And I got spotted. <laughs> Dude, I thought you were going to get wrecked. It takes them a while to realize it. And as you saw, the minute it went red on the map, that means you've been spotted. Yellow means they think they see something. Red means you better get your ass the fuck out of there. So can you do this as a strategy? But if they think they see you and you shoot uh, noise behind them, yeah. does that distract them? Yeah, I think you're... You have to be in complete darkness. If you're not, you yeah, they're going to be like, what the fuck's this guy doing? <laughs> yeah, and then you're look gone. at you like... <laughs> Just wait, you're not All right, so another thing you got to be able to do, we're going to pick up this guy's dead corpse. He's not really dead anyways, but whatever. <laughs> and because there are certain areas where they need a correct palm print. Obviously not yours. And you, after walking in a certain area for a while, you gain the ability to run. With that, pressing A for attack, you can kick open doors if you so please. Dude. It's actually the best way to deal with guards that you have to deal with. Running up, straight up kicking them. Then he does a sidestep kick and then a jump punch to finish it off. Show and tell. Let's be real, dude. That's that's how you're gonna kick open every door. Not really. Come on, bro. If I did that with every door, I'd be dead. Just 
Purr, I'm here, and the three guys just turn around and right. own you, and you then wanted, you die. On, yeah, I call the shots. So you understand. Dude, I would love to see that. Like on easy mode in this game, there are times you can literally be a complete dumbass, get spotted, have them follow you to a place, and then take them out. Here's the problem, though: if they follow you, perfect. If they run away and sound the alarm, you have 30 seconds to turn it off, or you fail. That's the way alarms work, because then they'll know you're in there. Because if you can disarm it, if you can turn off the alarm within 30 seconds, they think it's a false alarm, or they already took care of it. If it keeps going over 30 seconds I hit the wrong button but whatever if he keeps going over 30 seconds and they realize you're there security goes up intensely and you're basically screwed yep we're definitely this is gonna be a series I can't wait to watch oh dude it, it's like I said it is a really fun game I don't think there's a dude, guard besides, it's a here. genre of games I usually don't play that much so I'm actually kind of intrigued as to what goes into it okay so here we go I just think this game was gay I won't lie now I'm like, you know what? 